Hello again everyone and welcome to another episode of Gospel and Spade. Today we will have a brief overview of the geography and notable features of the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is situated between the central mountain range of Israel to the west, the Jordan Valley to the north, the Transjordanian Mountains to the east and the Arabah to the south. The total length of the Dead Sea is close to 50 miles or 80 kilometers long and about 9 miles or 15 kilometers in width on average. The Dead Sea is divided into two unequal sections by a strip of land known as the Lysan which divides the much larger and deeper section of the Dead Sea which is about 1,300 feet or 400 meters deep from the smaller and much shallower section in the south which is only 25 feet deep or 8 meters. The size of the Dead Sea is also dependent upon natural factors like rainfall and drought. Over the past couple of decades though, the water level of the Dead Sea has also been impacted greatly as a result of both the Israelis and the Jordanians building dams and using the collected waters that used to flow into the Dead Sea via its main sources, the Yermuk and Jordan rivers. As a result, the water level of the Dead Sea has been gradually dropping at about a rate of 3 feet or 1 meter a year over the last few decades. Much of the western and eastern shores of the Dead Sea consists of very steep and dangerous mountains and cliffs. In fact, until the modern period, there was no road present on the eastern shore of the Dead Sea as a result of the difficult terrain. The main north-south road through the region in biblical times was located on the western shore of the sea and passed by biblical sites like Masada, Engidai and Qumran. Because of the depth of the area below sea level at 1,300 feet or 400 meters below sea level making it the lowest point on earth, its sovereignly position between two large mountain ranges and its distance from the Mediterranean Sea. This means therefore that the area around the Dead Sea is very hot, dry and arid, with only 4 to 2 inches of rain falling in the area per year. This difficult terrain and environment meant that there was, and still is, little vegetation around the Dead Sea and few settlements were located here in biblical times as a result of these difficulties. These extreme natural conditions and the lack of an outlet for the waters of the Dead Sea mean that the only way that the waters of the Dead Sea can leave this area is through evaporation. Along with natural salt deposits that are present around the Dead Sea, this means that the mineral content of the Dead Sea is extremely high, around 30% when compared to the 5% of most of the world's oceans. This high mineral content therefore means that the Dead Sea is famous for the fact that people can easily float on its surface and that its waters are oily when touched. These natural conditions meant that during biblical times both salt and tar bitumen were collected and exported for multiple different reasons. The Bible refers to both the region and the Dead Sea by many different names including the Sea of the Plain or the Sea of Araba in Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 17, the East Sea in Ezekiel chapter 47 verse 18, the Salt Sea and the Vale of Siddim in Genesis chapter 14 verse 3 and the Valley of Salt in 2 Samuel chapter 8 verse 13. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.